morning guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do a day in my life i've done some weekly vlogs before but i thought it'd be fun to do like a more detailed day so it is currently 7 5 on a wednesday um i woke up kind of late today i usually wake up at 6 30 and uh today i woke up like 20 minutes late i was just really tired i've had such a long week but if you wanted to see my full morning routine you can go check that out on my channel now so for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gabrielle and I am currently a first year law student at Cornell and this is going to be a day in my life. So I'm starting off today by going downstairs. I'm gonna to go to the gym uh, and run before I get my day started. Usually on Wednesdays, I have four classes, which is kind of crazy and definitely intense. But today one of my teachers actually canceled class because we had a large assignment due. Um, so I only have three classes today, so I don't have to be at school until like 10 a.m., which is awesome. So yeah, going to get started with my day now. I just ran, I meant to do four miles, but I did like two. You know what, it's just one of those days. I woke up late, I got to get ready because I had to get to school and get my COVID test. Running slightly late, I am fully ready. I have like this skirt and top on. My apartment is a mess, full of all this laundry hanging here. But we have to go get my COVID test. I was supposed to be there 15 minutes ago, but I don't think they really care about the appointment time. So let's go. So here I was just finishing up some con law reading. In con law, we're actually going in errors. So we're currently reading Dred Scott in class. And then I was working on torts. Okay, I was able to finish my con law reading and like started my outline for torts. But it's due tomorrow at five. <laughs> okay, I did some more work on torts and now it's time for civil procedure. I just finished Civ Pro and we're gonna eat some lunch and then I have to continue to work on my torts essay that is due tomorrow that I like just started today because I had another huge contract assignment due this morning which I finished. So yeah, I am sitting here with like all my friends and just gonna work on this. Okay, I'm in the student kitchen just like heating up my lunch in the microwave, which is a very nice amenity that we have. So then as I was eating lunch, I was just finishing up my torts essay. Basically, it was like an issue spotter fact pattern type of like small essay we had to do. Okay, it's still lunch. It's like 12.40. I literally popped home for like 10 seconds to grab myself my matcha. I bought, I buy matchas um, every two days and then I save half of it for the next day because it, otherwise it's just way too much caffeine for my body. So yeah, I'm going to take this back to school and finish up my torts essay that I'm working on in the gallery. And then back to back, I have torts and con law. So torts is 55 minutes and then con law is an hour and 15 minutes. After class, I organized my locker because it was a mess. Okay, class is done, so I'm gonna go into the private, like, quiet, like, section of the second floor to try to finish my reading so I don't need to bring my books home, and then when I get home, I can just finish towards. So hopefully I'll just sit there and finish my work and be done. So here, I was just in one of the corrals working on my reading for the next day. Here, I was working on contracts because it's usually the first class that I have. And then I went on to work on torts. And I think I also may have had a lawyering assignment due the next day. But generally, Wednesdays aren't as stressful because I only have three classes on Thursday. And one of them is my lawyering class, which has way less reading than my other doctrinal classes. And then it was time to pack up and go home. I think usually I leave the library anywhere between 5.30 to 6. But some days I do stay a little bit later. I stay till like 7 or so. So yeah, I'll just pack up all my stuff, return everything to my locker, and head out. Okay, hello. I'm back home from school. It's like 6 p.m. exactly right now. 
which was good because my last class ended at like just after four. So I was able to get all of my work done in like an hour and a half for tomorrow. So I did my readings for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have three classes, two of them are doctrinal and then one of them is my lawyering class. So my lawyering class like didn't have any homework, I think. She may have assigned a video for us to watch, I need to figure that out. Um, but contracts didn't have too much reading, so I was able to do that. And then I did all of my torts reading that was in my case book. I just have like one case he put online that I need to read. And then the thing is, so tomorrow we have a torts like paper due that actually counts towards our grade, which is so kind to my torts professor truly, because then it makes our final worth less and like gives us, um, like a kind of metric along the way whereas a lot of law school classes it's just your final is worth a hundred percent of your grade which can be really stressful however right now i'm not appreciative because i am very stressed and i need to finish this i did about half of it throughout the course of today i have to finish the other half it's actually not that long and not that bad um so i'll finish it today and then reread it and submit it tomorrow however i also had a contracts essay due this morning and this wasn't bad at all because we could work with anyone we wanted on it, super chill, um, discussed it a lot beforehand. And it's basically like impossible to get below 100 because it's graded out of 12 possible points you can get and he'll only count eight of them. So like you could get a 10 out of 12 and still get 100 because it's counted out of eight. Now I know that four points of it is from my outline and I submitted an outline and he was like, basically if you submit an outline, you'll get all those four points. But I got one multiple choice wrong. I think I got full credit on the essay portion, but it makes me sad because even though I'm gonna get 100, I'm like, oh my gosh, other people in my class were able to get 100 and because it's graded on a curve, like law school in general. If he wasn't providing us that buffer, that like basically would put me right at a median, at the median for my class, right? Because like I got that one multiple choice wrong, which is such a silly thought process. I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense, but it was just like, Oh, I spent so long thinking about this multiple choice question and like I was so convinced that I was right and then I wasn't so I don't know I just was like about it but I submitted that and yeah so tomorrow I have torts due but for contracts today because we have this huge like essay due he was like we're not having class today and you don't have reading due today my torts professor on the other hand when we have this like even bigger essay due tomorrow for torts which is technically worth more of my grade than my contracts essay was that was due today my torts professor still gave us a homework assignment, like reading, and on top of that, every day for torts, we have to submit like this little assignments. Like he asks us a few questions and they're usually very easy and just based on the reading. But he, we also have that too. So I have like so much torts due tomorrow. I did the reading, I just have to finish the write up and yeah, I'm rambling now. But anyways, that was my day. So I'm home now. I'm going to take a little break before I finish the rest of my tort stuff that is due tomorrow. I need to clean because I got an ACES package and I was like trying on stuff yesterday, like all over here. So it's a mess and I need to put like my dishes away and I still have like my laundry hanging here and stuff. So I'll do a brief tidy and then move on with my day. Okay, I was unpacking my HelloFresh that I just got and apparently I got a cheesecake, so that's lovely. I'll have that for dessert today. But I'm gonna make my HelloFresh now. It's like 6.30, I spent like 30 minutes tidying up so my kitchen counter is like clean. I just have my lunch dishes in there um, for my lunchbox and my living room is clean. So today I'm gonna make a spinach gnocchi with heirloom tomatoes. Um, my dream is to be sponsored by HelloFresh. However, this is never sponsored. I paid for this with my own money. Um, so yeah, HelloFresh, if you're watching this, I would love to be sponsored, please. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make this and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, here's my finished dinner. So this is what it looked like and then this is what it looks like in real life. Obviously, I don't have like, you know, professional food plating skills, but I think this looks pretty good. This is what it looked like before I like tossed it all together and it smells amazing. It's the garlic, I think. So I'm gonna eat this now and enjoy this. Okay, it's 7.30, it's been exactly one hour and I was able to like cook, eat, and clean up for my dinner in that time. Something that no one ever tells you about being an adult, like that really sucks, is just how much cleaning you have to do. Like my kitchen is always a mess because you have to have so many meals a day, it's so frustrating. Anyways, I'm going to sit down and try to finish the last of my work. So I think I'm going to do my last torts reading and just submit that like little assignment that we have due tomorrow to get that out of the way 
and then finish my torts draft. Then I think I'll be in a really good position and maybe I'll even have time to like watch some TV or something, which I haven't done in literally so long because I've just had like the craziest weekends and stuff. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what I get up to. Also, while I cook and eat dinner, usually I'm either on the phone with my family, I wasn't today, I was watching YouTube, or I'm watching YouTube. So yeah, during like cooking dinner, it's like my time to relax and like veg out, um, yeah. Okay, this is literally the least flattering angle ever. And you can tell I'm definitely making myself neck damage from the way that I sit. But regardless, here I was just finishing up my torts essay, just making the final edits. And yeah, I don't know, I haven't gotten my grade back from this yet, but we'll see. Apparently one of the TAs told someone that they're graded pretty leniently, so we'll see how I do. Okay, so I took a minute and I got myself a cup of tea. I finished like the small assignment and it's like eight o'clock. So I have my harvest tea from Trader Joe's. It smells so good, it's like autumnal and cinnamony. I also have my mini cheesecake here. And I'm gonna eat it while I finish my large torts essay. I'm actually over halfway done, but I'm like, based on how I'm going, I'm going to be very much under the word count, which is like a little concerning because it's like, what am I missing then? Um, but yeah, I'm also such in an autumnal mood. Look at this. I got this from Home Goods, and I made it myself. Like I stuffed it with like mini pumpkins and like acorns and whatever. And yeah, I'm also going to light my leaves candle. This is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to enjoy this autumnal evening full of torts. Right now my essay is on intentional torts. So torts, which like someone kind of, I guess like intends to commit. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. I'm not having too much difficulty with it, but we'll see. Okay, it's 8.45 and I have finished my first draft, which is awesome. I am very pleased because it's not due until tomorrow at five. So I still have a lot of time. Um, obviously I would like to like get it basically finalized tonight and then read it in the morning, but I'm like a little concerned because I have 840 words and the word count is 1200. So that means I'm like 350 or so words below the word count, which does make me feel like I'm missing something because I'm only using like 75% or so of like what I can. So yeah, not sure what I'm really gonna do about that, but I'm going to like go back through and see if I can add more details in. I'd rather be under the word count than over the word count, so this is good. Okay, I am so happy. I was able to expand it to like a thousand words, and I am actually like pretty proud of this. I'm gonna reread it in the morning because I still think there's some parts that are unclear and that I could make clearer. But I think I've done a good job on this. I've like reviewed it a ton of times, especially against my outline. So we'll see how this goes. I think torts is pretty clear. Um, there's just some things about like defensive property that I think I wanna tie in maybe a little bit better. But either way, I'm just gonna look at it once more in the morning before I submit it and just make sure I have everything the way I want it to be. Um, and yeah. I don't know, I'm just going to probably watch an episode of The Great British Bake Off and go to bed. Honestly, I know today may seem kind of boring because all I did was like study, like do chores and you know, have minimal free time. But honestly, I am so happy. I love law school so much. Like I find what I'm doing here so interesting and I genuinely just want to do like the best that I can. So I don't mind spending all of my days studying because I just genuinely enjoy it. Um, yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you would like to see more like it and have a great rest of your day. Also, I'm about to do my evening routine and that video will be coming to you soon. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Bye.